what aquaponics embodies is integrated farming. This idea and this philosophy of joining the wastes from one system into the inputs for another, connecting everything together to reduce the amount of inputs is, I think, really, really valuable. People don't want to always eat seasonally. People want strawberries year-round or salad crops. So rather than sort of this massive global kind of transport, we can grow pretty much the food that we want year-round in the UK using very little energy. The project here, we're sort of, we're combining two technologies really. The aquaponics is the integration of aquaculture with hydroponics. So aquaculture is growing aquatic organisms, fish, prawns, things like that in water. Hydroponics being the growing of plants without soil. And in aquaponics, essentially, we take all the waste materials from the fish, we use the plants as a filter, and then the water returns back to the, to the fish themselves. So it's basically a circular loop where we maximise all resources. I mean, these solar panels, the idea was to, to combine, we're calling them multifunctional photovoltaics. So we're trying to combine the use of shading, which we need in the summer when greenhouses get hot, combined with producing energy. So we're trying to sort of combine a requirement within the greenhouse with an energy system that can potentially add to running the pumps and the air pumps and things like that. So yeah, it's, we're just starting to sort of get them connected and, and, and get a bit more of a handle on how much energy we're using. These are the grow beds and the fish effluent that's really nutrient rich is pumped round, comes into these beds here and then we use a clever device called an auto siphon. What that does is it allows us to flood the grow beds, the water's being filled, filled, filled and then when the auto siphon triggers at the top, the water then drains away again, comes down and that, that cycle creates, uh, gives the roots nutrients and water and then gives them aeration during the drain cycle. Once the water comes out of the bed, it's essentially been filtered, all the nutrients have been taken up by the plant roots, and that clean water then returns from these grow beds directly back into the fish tanks. The message is to think very carefully about waste. I don't think waste is a word that should exist anymore. I think waste is just an output from one system that if we think carefully, it can be an input to another system. This is about connecting natural ecosystems together in an environment where they maybe otherwise wouldn't exist and creating a, a productive edible system. <laughs>